Back towards Faith. No, back. No, back. Get it straight. Stop. No. Well, no broken glass. That's a good start. No, <laughs> this is when we smash it now. We're going to get this curved shower enclosure in. I made a start on this side, put the first channel on the wall. Uh, pretty much the same as a standard um, wall to wall straight one. You've got two uh, sections which go onto the wall like a U-channel and then the actual frame slides into that. This one's a bit more complicated because we've got four sections of glass and it's curved and I'm kind of wishing we hadn't done that now but hey it's going to work better in this small room. One of our first jobs we can do is to measure in the 8mm that's suggested uh, from the edge of the shower tray and what we need to do is not use a normal pencil. This little uh, Eyeliner, not my own. Uh, that pinch from Joe, uh, and it's the one thing that will take to tile pretty well. Next up, we'll take our channel, rest it down onto that line. Hopefully, everything else is square. This is fine. To excuse this unfinished paintwork here, that's where I just carried the adhesive on too far when we tiled, so I need to kind of sand that back and, and redecorate there. But what we've got now is our little marks on the wall. And what I did, well, what I've done in the past is just use a bit of sellotape over there. I can still see our point, but it'll just protect the tile around it, but also uh, make sure that the bit doesn't wander. Wonder, wonder. The thing you don't want to do is do this anywhere near silicon that hasn't completely cured yet. We did all this yesterday morning and it's perfectly fine. Um, but I have got a cloth over the bottom there because this is kind of a pinky brown, this ceramic. And if you get this anywhere near, it just completely ruins the silicon. We'll put our middle one in first. Now the holes are a tiny bit oversized, so you could correct things if you need to a little bit. Fortunately, I have actually got a stud there holding it nice and tight. If you can plan well ahead, then I would make sure you've got something strong there, especially if you've got the lightweight tile backer board like we've got here, because you imagine a, a plug fixing, expanding in that, it's not gonna do much at all. All right, this next bit, we're kind of learning together here because I haven't done a curved one before. Okay, make up the four sides. Two curved sections at the top and bottom. Right, let me see if I can do the next bit standing up because I'm struggling to find anywhere to lie it down. Should have had a couple more. Should have wheat this morning. There we go. Right, time to slot it in. Then we need to level it up and get drilling. <laughs> if it fits through the door, that is. I think the top and bottom are the same, so they can come straight in. Now the fun starts, it's when you need a second person. So just push one all the way home into that side and then get the other side in and then you can pull it back out again. 
And now I'm just making sure my channels are perfectly plumb. So we've got our channel that's connected to the wall. That's already screwed in. This is the bit that's slotted inside that. You know, it's, it's inside it on both sides. And you, you've got the ability to move it in and out to, to get it completely plumb and even with the other side. Once we're happy with that, we there's some little holes on the wall channel. We can just drill a little pilot hole through that into the middle channel and put the two little soft tappers in and that holds it in place. frame in now we move on to the glass so actually up until this point it's pretty much the same as it would be with any shape enclosure you still got the same channel system but now we're dealing with the sliding rollers it's probably a bit different right slide it into the prior profile A little interlude for some of Joe's apple cake. There is a benefit to having a glut of apples this time of year. All right, then we've got another little glass clip up the top. And then you get to this point where it sounds like an old rattly greenhouse. And I was getting a bit worried then, but actually there's another seal which is a soft wedge-shaped seal which slides on the inside between the metal and the glass. Okay, I've done the first of our doors so I'll talk you through how I've done that on the next one. I'll take out the centre screw that's already in there. So that's our right hand door looking at the shower. There are two variants of the wheels or the rollers. One's got a spring in it, that's for the bottom. And the other one is just the one for hanging at the top. They definitely take a bit longer than the flat screens. I think the bifold that we've got upstairs came almost ready made. So it's a lot quicker to fit. But... I've now got to put the washing on, so we might have to voice over the next bit, depending on how loud that washing machine gets. Bear with me. So the wheels at the bottom there, right underneath and then just pull up on the springs and slot it in. Ah, we have some adjustment to do. So both the outsides need to go that way. Let's put this one down a bit. Almost. Uh, fit the bump stops to the top and bottom tracks. Right, next job. Plastic caps to cover the screws in the runners or rollers. Come on, get in. <sighs> of all the things that we're struggling with, putting a plastic cap on, why are they so tight? Do I take the doors out? 
Right, solution found. I was in the workshop trying to file them down a little bit. Turns out, by having a play around, if you back out the screws on these ones just by half a turn, they fit. The problem was, by tightening them up too snug, you kind of distorted the plastic, which just made it a little bit oval shaped why the plug wouldn't fit. The next one goes on the fixed bit with the flappy bit pointing towards the door. Right, and then the last of the seals are the magnet ones. I'm just going to have a look and see how these match up because they're angled. Doesn't seem to say anything about it on there. Pretty good. But there's just, I mean, I can just see a hairline, and of course, it's a shower because it's quite a small shower. Yeah, I've reversed it and it seals much better now. I don't know if it's meant to be that way, or maybe it's just a little bit bent from how it was packaged. They don't look any. They're just shaped a different way, but... How do you open it? How do you open it? Ah, well, we've got to put the handles on. That's our job. Do you want to help? Yeah. So we need two for each side, I think. We need, like... Some caps there. Uh... We need it where the holes are. That's right. Are you holding it nice and still? Yeah. Push against me a bit. Push towards the door. No, you need to push back a little bit. At the top. See if you can push. Okay, hold on then. Wait there. Good. He help. Right, Eden, you want to help with this side? Yes, please. Right. Pick up a handle and another one out the back. You need two handles. Well, Faith, Faith can open them and Eden can help. Alright, pass that on. Um, yeah, that's the same as I've done the other side. Push in on the top. Okay, that's it, just push where you're... Hold, try and hold it still. I know, but you have to turn it the other way. That's it. Lovely. Top. Back towards Faith. No, back. No, back. Get it straight. Stop. No. Yes, don't move. Try not to move. No, we can both right, go in. Right, girls, both take one of these silver things each. Okay, now go in. Now yeah. try and work out the best way to put your silver bit in the handle so that it's nice and smooth. Okay. It should be shaped like the handle. Yeah, I'll help you both. It's in as far as it is. Can. Once they're in, they're not coming out. Mm. Yeah. Face lobsters. No, it... It's in there somewhere. Oh, it's in, it's not in here. Look, don't worry, it can't go down the plug hole. The plug hole's not that big. Girls, you've still lost my silver thing. I didn't. Faith, where did you drop it? I don't know. I... You were trying to put it in here. It didn't go, yeah, it's yes. not in your top. It I can't go just... down the drain because it physically can't go down there, can it? Were you inside or outside, Faith? That's what I. That's what I was thinking. So I'm how right on earth? Here, ah, okay. So maybe it fell out. Run out the way because we can't have lost that thing. Why? Because Well, we. No, but you can't buy. A, you can't just call up and say, "Oh, can I? Can I just have one of the small, tiny silver things that I've lost?" Right. Can you check your pockets? Is it fallen into a pocket? I've got pocket. A pocket. I have a pocket. Daddy, you got pocket. Hey, look at me. Did you put it in my pocket? I'm, I'm watching the video back because I think I might have caught whatever happened on camera. And if you're telling Porky Pies... You have no idea how long we looked for that little silver cap. 
and all that time it was in my pocket, so sorry Faith. <laughs> That's me blaming her. Anyway, the shower enclosure is in. Now it's not the biggest of showers, but remember this is just like a bonus shower really. We've got this downstairs bathroom area and it was just about big enough to put one in. So it's kind of like a bonus shower you might have, you might use when you've got guests or when you're hosing the dog off. One thing we didn't mention because I hadn't done it at that point is sealing the enclosure. Now remember, always only seal on the outside and that's to make sure that any water that does get behind that wall channel uh, just goes down and freely drains back into the shower tray. You're not trapping anything behind it. So I've done a clear silicon all the way down there and all the way along the bottom where it meets the tray. Anyway, the bathrooms get in there now. We've managed to get the towel radiator on this week and now all I've got left to do is to build the cabinets around the boiler and under the sink. Uh, they're a little bit custom, so I can't use anything off the shelf. So we'll be building those. And then this room's pretty much there. I've just restored an old door um, to fit that opening. And that was a bit of work, a bit of surgery, but that's done. So there's a few more videos to come on this little room. And then we've got the oak worktop that's just gone in as well. So loads coming next week. If you enjoyed that video, give us a thumbs up, especially for the girls, for their help. Anyway, there we go. Remember, it's never really a tutorial on this channel. It's just a case of showing you what I'm up to, what we've got going on, and hopefully that's enough to inspire you to get stuck in and do it yourself. And that is it. Here's the outro. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. And we'll see you next time.